Hello friends, welcome to our channel Defense Command. In this video, we will talk about the five generations of jets. The notion of aircraft generations, a term that applies to only jet rather than propeller driven fighter aircraft, appeared in the 1990s and attempted to make sense of the leapfrogging improvements in performance to jet fighter aircrafts. A generational shift in jet fighter aircraft occurs when a technological innovation cannot be incorporated into an existing aircraft through upgrades and retrospective fit-outs. First Generation Subsonic Jet Fighters The first generation of jet fighters such as the F-86, MiG-15 and MiG-17, had basic avionic systems with no radars or self-protection countermeasures and were armed with machine guns or cannons, as well as unguided bombs and rockets. A common characteristic of this generation of fighter was that the jet engines did not have afterburners and the aircraft operated in the subsonic regime. Second Generation Jet Fighters The second generation fighters saw the introduction of air-to-air -air radar, infrared and semi-active guided missiles, as well as radar warning receivers into such aircraft as the F-104. F-5, MiG-19, and MiG-21. This generation's fighters also incorporated advances in engine design and aerodynamics, which allowed them to reach and sustain supersonic speeds in level flight. During this period, although air-to-air -air combat was still within visual range, radar-guided missiles started to extend engagement ranges. Third-generation jet fighters this generation witnessed improvements in maneuverability, and significant enhancements to the avionic suites and weapon systems. They were also the first cadre of multi-role fighters such as the MiG-23, F-4, and Mirage-3. Doppler radar supported a look-down-slash-shoot-down capability, and with off-bore sight targeting and semi-active guided radio frequency missiles like the AIM-7 Sparrow and AA-7 Apex. Aerial engagements moved to beyond visual range. The major change brought about by this generation aircraft was that it was no longer necessary to visually acquire opponents to neutralize them and gain control of the air. Fourth generation jet fighters. Through the 1970s and 80s, the trend of improvement in avionics, such as head up displays and optimized aerodynamic design, continued with the development of fly by wire fighters such as the MiG 29. Su-27, JF-17 Thunder, F-A-18, F-15, F-16, and Mirage-2000. Most of this generation of fighters had the ability to both switch and swing roles between air-to-air -air and air-to-ground, as opposed to the previous role-dedicated aircraft. This in turn blurred the distinction between control of the air and strike missions. Four and half generation jet fighters. The concept of having a half-generation increment stemmed from a forced reduction in military spending, which resulted in a restriction in aircraft development. It became more cost-effective to add stealth, radar-absorbent materials, thrust vector-controlled engines, greater weapons carriage capacity and to extend the range of fourth-generation fighters, such as the Hornet, Eagle, and Flanker, than to design new aircraft. The FA-18E-F Super Hornet is an example of a 4.5-generation fighter evolved from a fourth-generation aircraft. The addition of an active electronically scanned array AESA, radar that allows fighter aircraft to perform a limited airborne early warning and control function was a significant enough game-changing combat capability for these redesigned fighters to be deemed a generation of their own. 4.5-generation includes Eurofighter Typhoon, Saab James 39 Gripen, Dassault Rafale, and upcoming JF 17 Thunder Block 3, 5th generation jet fighters. The F 22 Raptor, introduced in 2005, is considered the next generation fighter aircraft. Soon to follow are aircraft designs like the F 35 Joint Strike Fighter and Chinese Chengdu J 20, which is believed to reflect features of this generation of fighter. A quantum improvement in the fighter's lethality and survivability has been a qualifying requirement to achieve generational change, and the fifth generation fighters personify these traits. 
The advances over earlier generational fighters include nose-to-tail low observable or stealth technologies as part of the aircraft's design that make it almost impossible for even other Generation 5 fighters to detect them, improved situational awareness through having multi-spectral sensors located across all aspects of the airframe which allows the pilot to look through the airframe of the aircraft without having to maneuver the fighter to obtain a 360-degree picture which in turn enhances the aircraft's ability to use its suite of weapons to engage and neutralize an adversary without the adversary even being aware of the threat. So, that's all. I hope you must have enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel to get latest updates about the military.